Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our vegan today and we're looking at toss bombing. So toss bombing is essentially where we fly flat and level, then we pitch the nose up, release the bombs, turn, rise and fly away. And those bombs will then drop away from the plane in a big arc, going upwards and first then downwards and then drop ahead of the plane by several kilometres. So in this mission what we're going to do is we're going to take off from... Our airbase here, we're going to head uh, whatever there is, about 10 kilometers to waypoint one, then turn into this base here and bomb this runway. Now, the first thing is reading through the manual for the Vigan, it says to drop from a, a height of about 300 meters, I believe, and um, at a certain speed, then you can achieve ranges of about four and a half kilometers from where you the drop point to the target. I've tried this and it works fine but I find it completely useless basically because it's so inaccurate at that range there's not really much use for anything so, so what I think what I've got here although it differs from the manual is going to be a more realistically useful uh, use of toss bombing and that is I've got to bomb the runway the thing is the runway is absolutely surrounded by uh, low range IR SAM so I cannot fly above that runway um, I don't want to bomb it from five kilometers out because it's really hard to get the bombs on target so and I don't want to fly at 300 meters either because I'm going to get shot down if I do that so I want to go in for what the Vigan was designed for low super low riding the wave just a few meters off the ground and I'm going to drop instead of five kilometers away from the target I'm going to drop just one kilometer away from the target um, I'm going to pull up and uh, drop from that range and we should get some better results against this target so let's get armed up we're going to be taking slick bombs for this. We do not want the retarded bombs. Request refueling. Okay, while well that loads up, uh, let's, let's start getting set up. Now, we do have, like Copy. I said, waypoints uh, from the mission editor, so let's get these installed. Cartridge in all of our usual stuff we're going to go through. Bar, bar. Refueling complete. 9099 LS, wait. Okay, uh, now we want to set our waypoint 2, which is our target waypoint 2, a mark of target waypoints, in tactical 9, bravo 2, out default position, and we can check now if we press bravo 2, it comes up with M mark 2, so that is our um, target waypoint set, back to LS, which is where we take off from, okay, that's that, and uh, we, we want to set our altimeter to low level mode there, we want to set our QFE. Uh, we have to tell the vegan the exact elevation of the runway. Now we can cheat a little bit in here. We can keep our finger on K. We can look at waypoint two, which we've got, and it's given us a QFE of 1011.7. Uh, if we didn't have that, oh, and you don't have to have a waypoint at the target, you can do it all by eye if you want, uh, then you would have to calculate your QFE, and I've got a video on how to, the different ways of calculating QFE, so you can go and watch that if you need to. Right, uh, just to keep it simple for this one, we're going 111.7, which is about there, I believe. So that's that set. Now our weapon selector, um, we're going to keep on SJO plan. Plan bombing is what we want. And a spread of 20 meters. This is in meters, the spread between each bomb. Uh, so that is that all set up. Navigation mode. Uh, we're going to drop in navigation mode. We don't need to switch to ANF for this. We don't really need to see the target illuminated controls really simple as usual trigger safety hold we're going to hold that on uh, to allow us to fire and to bring up the symbology for firing and the trigger uh, we're going to hold our finger on the trigger to release the bombs we're going to let go of the trigger once the red light is on here that means that the um, bombs are, have all left and we can basically pull away right so that's everything set up and we're ready to go so burner on and we're off Wow, that's a really short runway. Quick, 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 quick. Woo. Right, just going to get some speed up and head to waypoint uh, one, which is behind us. Right, 15 clicks to get to waypoint one. Okay, we're approaching waypoint one. Now, regard speed, you want to be between 0.8 and 0.9 uh, uh, Mac, the Mac meter, by the way, is there in the middle of the speedo. You can see we're 0.8 Mac there. Generally, I just say if you're on stage one burn, that is just that suits that speed pretty well. Then you don't have to worry about the speed. Okay, that's waypoint one hit. I'm turning on target now, and I see the target. I see the runway, so I'm going to align myself with the runway. Stage one burn, please. There we go. Coming nice and low. And we want to drop about one kilometer in front of the runway, I found is pretty sufficient. Slightly off to the left. A bit 
30 meters from the sea. Bang on the money there. So like I said, the reason we're coming in so low is this will be a much more realistic use of the TOS bombing, I think. We can get it much more accurate and we can avoid the AAA and the SAMs because we're so low. Check speed, Mach 0.75, slightly slow, so we're just going to add a little bit more gas up to stage two. Okay, trigger release on now. And what we're going to do is pull up to five degrees. The degree markers will be on the left and right of the HUD. They're quite hard to see sometimes at five degrees we're going to keep our finger on the trigger then keep pulling up uh, it will release uh, the bombs will be automatically released above five degrees and we're going to pull up and away so pull up five degrees hold the release light is on that red light there you can see we're pulling away there and thump 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 that is one runway taken out. You can see we hit the latter half. I um, I would have preferred to hit it in the centre. I left it a little bit too late to pull up. I think it, I put up about half a click rather than a click. But you can see as long as the runway is over a click in length, you can pretty make sure you can hit it. So I think that's a decent use of sauce bombing. We never really presented ourselves to, to the target for an IR shot. So yeah, uh, but good use of that. I hope you enjoyed that. Go and toss on some runways and we'll see you later.